I'm Matthew Murray. And I'm Ryan Murray. Um, we're identical twin brothers of the Black Veil Studio in Salem, Massachusetts. And our work is heavily inspired by the death and mourning etiquette of New England's Victorian pastimes. I think tattooing is free flowing and you can kind of, you kind of just get lost in it and you're not really thinking so much as like, as much about like composition and stuff because that's all set. The skeleton is already like laid out and everything too. So you're not really thinking about where things need to be placed as much. So I, I think I enjoy the, the tattooing process more. I mean, it's all, it's all a lot of fun, but I like being able to like start like seeing it to come together as a piece. Ryan and I primarily only work in black and gray scale. Compositions are usually like pretty loose. It's like we don't draw all the fine lines usually like in our initial line drawing that's going to be the tattoo. So it's, you know, once we put it on, it's kind of open to interpretation. Like once we get going, trying to make sure that it's like going to be the perfect shape for where on, like where on the body that it's going to end up going and um, having like a nice flow to it. And then I don't know, just making sure that it's like the best piece that it can be. We've been together, um, yeah, since we were born, pretty much. I think that like the longest amount of time that we've ever been apart for is maybe a couple of weeks at the most. My parents always dress us the same. Yeah, we're like the male versions of The Shining. We moved to Salem when we were about 19 years old, and, and we've been here ever since. It's kind of been like a really good inspiration and platform for, you know, to kick off our art career. Obviously, Salem is known mostly for the Salem Witch Trials of 1692, where, you know, there are many innocent people that were sentenced to death for being accused of witchcraft. And that's something that's always going to haunt the history of Salem. You can see a lot of that carried over into our, our artwork. That has fascinated us since we've been um, kids, you know. We've both always illustrated, and um, we were painters before tattooing. So that was like our first true love, I think, of painting. So today I'm working on my friend Justin, um, and we're doing uh, working on a raven that's from his kneecap to his armpit. It's actually a crow, and then it's carrying a skull. Crows have always been like fascinating to me. So just to have such a large uh, piece on him that is a crow is just pretty special, I think. And uh, we became friends through it because we sat together with f probably like over 20 hours between the two pieces. You have more shows and stuff set up? Yeah, I'm writing, writing new music, but no shows planned. Today I'm doing a touch up on her, on her witch, it's on her shin. It's kind of the whole uh, saying that, uh, you know, you can't burn a witch forever, you know? We were the witches in Salem you weren't able to burn, so being local and, you know, the love of, you know, witchcraft and everything else, of course, it was an appropriate piece, and none other than Ryan to do it. Beautifully grim, morbid, but it, it just, everything tells a story in each just pass he does with a needle, so it's just, it's the best. Even every single day now, like, when, when we finish the tattoo, like, the person, our client might think that they're finished, but I'll, bring them to go show Ryan the tattoo and Ryan will be like, I think it needs like a little more black here or like a couple like lines here. I think it's like really helped us build the style together instead of separately. So now instead of us just like having our own things going on too, like it's almost kind of hard to um, like see the difference in our work sometimes too. Yeah, our style has always been growing and evolving together. Uh, I think being twins definitely plays a role in um, and working together to make make stronger pieces of artwork. 